Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I am going to show one of the best chess game of Vladimir Kramnik and today we will see Berlin defense. But we will see a different Berlin defense because white is not only to play move d3 but anyway black is going for attack and that's for me the bigger surprise of this game because usually what I remember when I was studying Berlin defense is that uh, this game is nearly without middle game where both players are going to end game and in the end game they are going to prove what is more if bad pawn formation or two bishops advantage and exactly now why took it on c6 and we are nearly in the main position of Berlin defense where black has got um, double pawns on c7 and c6 but at the other side has got two bishops advantage what is important uh, both players has still queens on the board so if they are queens uh, that's mean we will play middle game luckily we will play middle game and uh, what is nice after move uh, short castle that uh, usually Berlin defense is with move d4 now is only with move d3 and queen e7 after move h3 what is maybe not bad at all Black is going to play a very strong move or rook g8 and the idea is to play g4, g5 and to attack white's king and that's for me usually the bigger surprise how Berlin defense used to be really interesting chess opening and maybe weapon against the first white's move e4 g5 g4 that's a that's a nice idea and now let's follow this game till end because we will see how vladimir kramnik is going to beat levon aronian in a berlin defense with a black pieces so that's exactly what we are looking for if we are going to watch this game and my big big question to you is if you are looking for a good good video and good game feel free and press like or press follow and made my day and be our another new followers because that's a sign that we are doing good videos for you thank you now after rook g8 uh, white maybe came out from the dangerous zone and he came to h1 and now maybe it's interesting to play move h6 and that's only variation g5 make a sense and uh, g4 what it's nice very good that here is a pawn for free and we will see in our game that maybe this variation is giving inspiration to vladimir because even he will sacrifice pawn on e5. Exactly what's happened here if white is taking on e5 because everybody know it that um, e5 is a central and important pawn but after move h5 this is a bloody attack. This is a bloody and dangerous attack against a white king and uh, maybe mm, this position is giving full compensation for a missing pawn for black. What do you think about this position? I think that this position is double edge but it's not exactly important what do you think because this is only variation. Uh, showing us how this position should be complicated and double edge but we are coming back because what is most important here is move knight h5 uh, Vladimir is trying to play the same variation without move h6 so he is hurry to play move g5 and uh, now what's happened happened move uh, c3 and g5 it's uh, nice to see here move d4. Okay, variation, but why not to see what everything was hidden in our main, main moves. So I think that here black should play move g4. And that's a really sharp, sharp answer. Take, take. And even here, maybe uh, this is a big, big uh, question if black's attack 
is worth of one piece and I believe that yes and why because uh, let's watch White's army let's watch White's pieces uh, which are too passive and doing exactly big nothing so maybe this is uh, interesting but double double edge uh, what's happened after move g5 uh, white took immediately on e5 and for one more time we are watching how black is losing important e5 pawn but not for nothing because he still believe for attack yes of course there's a variation that white will lose a knight and then he will win a knight on h5 so that's not a big interest for black and black played move g4 yes of course he is going forward yes what is important to see is this threat if uh, white is taking on g4 there's a check and knight g3 winning attack because that is hard <laughs> maybe impossible for white to stop move checkmate on h1 and that's the first variation that this position is a complicated double edge and both players has to be careful so uh, here white played move d4 and maybe he doesn't believe black that his variation is working because yes if black will not be able to checkmate white's king he's losing because um, he bet everything, he bet all in and he still believed that his idea is right. So d4, bishop d6 and g3 and now maybe it's good to play bishop e6 but I, I'm enjoying, I'm, I'm liking this move because uh, now black took it knight on e5 and why this move is such a good because that's only simple exchange. Let's watch this position. White's army is uh, slipping on the last or, or first rank. You know, it's hard to pick up the best white piece and I'm enjoying how it's possible uh, to play against such a strong grandmaster as of course Levon is. And how is possible that Levon has such a bad pieces on the first rank? That's nice. So, okay, uh, black took it on e5 and now finally white decided to go for a queen exchange. But, uh, you know, if uh, you are playing for attack, you are not interesting to make uh, this exchange and for this reason um, a queen e7 happened. Or maybe it was interesting to take even this queen and to believe in any game, but uh, of course. That's a different story and if Vladimir has a good day and he believed that he should attack, he will attack. So for this reason he came back to e7 and he decided to keep queens on the board, um, h4 and c5. Okay, white's queen on d4 used to be the strongest white's piece and now he's under or she is under attack so she came to c4 lost a tempo another tempo and finally this queen is too away is too far from white's king and uh, that's a good good point to remember that if our opponent is attacking us we have to think about defense and we have to have a defenders and if we don't have defenders, we are in a big worry that we are losing our game. So this is a typical lost queen on a4 and a5. That's a nice idea. Maybe Levon missed this idea, but uh, you know, I believe that if we are going for attack, we have to open position as much as we can. And a5 move, it's maybe risky because black's King is still sitting on e8, say in the center of the chessboard, but there is no white piece able to attack black's king. So maybe uh, this king on e8 is a safe because of bad, bad white's army. f5, beautiful move, going to open position. And okay, just to take on f5, that's a variation, but I will show how checkmate looks like check on g3 check on d5 
uh, Aquin to E2 and checkmate is coming soon or later. So that's a variation and that's why move F5 is such a great and why I decided to show this game because I believe that uh, this is a good game which should give us inspiration motivation how to play chess because chess is the best game of course but uh, we have to be aggressive and we have to be active and if we are aggressive we are winning so let's come back because uh, what we remember here after move f5 that's a great move what's happened bishop g5 okay sounds like uh, black's queen is under attack but uh, not forever because if we are attacking we don't want to waste time and if we are not wasting our time we are not worried to take and to sacrifice our exchange so black took it on g5 and still is going forward f4 it's another nice threat and uh, this position is for white really complicated because white is without any counterplay and that's a big big um, big uh, problem for white to play chess and to stay without any chances to play for counter-attack. So the defense is difficult, but the defense is much more difficult if we have nothing to play. So f4, white came back and rook d8. So nearly all black pieces are attacking white's army. And one more time, let's watch white's army. Still too passive, too bad too lazy and doing nothing and that's something what we have to remember how to play chess how to bring all our pieces to game and how not to play chess how is it dangerous to play chess without any counter attack and without good pieces that's the lesson coming to you from this video and I believe that you should remember forever. And if yes, for a second time I'm asking you for likes or follows because I think that this game is worth of like or follow. So uh, rook d8 and a queen c1. Exchange on g3. It's hard for white to take on g3 and knight a3. Finally, finally, white was able to bring at least knight to game. That's something what is terrible to, to like, but at least something is playing in a white's army. Now rook d3 happened, rook d1 and bishop d5. Wow, that's a chess massacre and, you know, it's hard to believe that white has no defense. So, let's see this variation. What's happened if this piece is for free? Check on e4, uh, check on f2 and uh, I think that it's not hard to believe that a white king will be checkmated. What a beautiful position and what a beautiful game and you know that's exactly what I'm enjoying if I am watching chess. I am looking forward to see a fight, beautiful combination and big big fantasy and that's exactly the game of Vladimir Kramnik what you are watching right now. So what's happened here Bishop d5 nice move and maybe the big shock but at the other side that's only proof that something wrong happened to white so f3 you change on f3 and yes uh, here that's a piece but that's the final of this game okay another variation maybe you are asking what's happened if white is taking on d3 say queen is taking on e4 f2 check check and checkmate and that's a beautiful position how black is a winning and even his uh, a queen down or rook down and i don't know how many pawns are down but that's a cool diagram what do you think about this position and what do you think about this game so uh, okay what's happened um white took it on d5 and here he 
uh, he resigned. It's too late to play. Okay, he played Rook E1. Still is here G2 and that's game over. Now, up to me is to show variation why White resigned. So, okay, if White is going to G1, that is beautiful. F2 check. Check. And check. And too many queens. And one of these queens are playing the checkmate. So, one variation. Okay, after G2, uh, maybe it's good to go to G1, check, and checkmate. And uh, that was a beautiful chess game. What do you think about this game? And if you think that that was a good, good game, feel free and press like or press follow and make my day. And stay by us because I'm going to repair another immortal chess game. Hopefully you enjoyed and I believe that I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. Thank you for watching. See you soon and bye bye.